How great are rice paper rolls? They're fantastic for lunch or a light dinner. And I've got the king of rice paper rolls here. Duncan, you're going to show us a beautiful version using yeah, Snapper. That's right. We're going to do something never before seen on TV. We're going to do instant rice paper rolls wow. with a beautiful, delicate oven baked. Snapper. Oh, you've sold it to me. And we're going to be using a gorgeous snapper. So fresh, isn't it? Yeah, you can yep. tell. You can look at the clarity of the eyes yep. and the gills. It just looks nice and mm. bright red. That's a clear sign that we've got the fish that we want for this dish. Very nice. Okay. We've scored the fish already. Yeah, we've scored the dish. That's going to just help the fish cook through in the yep. oven nice and evenly. Yep. And while we produce this beautiful umami dry rub, it's going to allow that dry rub to actually get into the fish. Nice. So what's in the dry rub? In the dry rub, we're going to need some anchovy salt. So okay. it's really simple. Keep the flavours simple. Yep. Um, we have beautiful fish from the pristine waters of Australia. Yep. Let's just try to pair those flavours. This is a, a really cool product that you've yeah, brought out, absolutely. anchovy salt. So we're using it for a rub like this. What else do you use it for? Uh, you could use it to make broths, stir fries, anything that requires a bit of umami. If you yep. love flavour, yep. get straight into it. Fantastic. All right. And I'm chopping some onions yep. for you. Perfect. So what we want to do, we want to create a little bed for the fish, okay. an aromatic bed. We've got some onions. You can chop some lemongrass out of that as well. That would yeah, be lovely. Sure. I'm just going to pop some sugar in here. So this is really an easy dry rub. Yep. It's anchovy salt, sea salt and sugar. That's it. And that's the flavours that we're after. Give it a bit of a mix. Okay. Like that. And I'll put it straight in the baking dish. Yeah, straight in the baking dish. Make an aromatic bed. We want it nice and level. It's going to allow the heat to circulate in the oven as well. Chop those lemongrass stalks for me. Okay. Nice and long. Not, not, yeah, perfect. That's lovely there. Just go all the way through the lemongrass like that and just sprinkle it straight in. But what I might get you to do, I might get you to reserve two lemongrass stalks for me because mm -hmm. I'm going to pop them into the cavity of the fish. Okay. And Lemongrass is a great flavour for Vietnamese lemon cuisine. Grass, yeah. It has that, it's not lemon. Fish, people tend to put, love to put lemon through it. Yeah. But with Vietnamese culture, we love lemongrass. Straight in there, beautiful. Okay. All right, so that fish is ready now, Justine. Right. We're just going to pop it on your well-made aromatic <laughs> bed. <laughs> in it goes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to drizzle with a bit of oil. That's just to get it started. Yeah, you know? of course. We don't want too much, just a smidge. Yeah, and we've preheated the oven quite hot. Yeah, 220. Do about for 15 to 20 minutes. Yep, done. All right, fish is in. That's it. We're going to work on the spring onion oil. That's going to be like a nice garnish, the nice Vietnamese flavour to the fish. Great. All right, so yes. off we go with the spring onions. Yep. So you've cut all the green part too. Yeah, yep. nice and fragrant. Cut them nice and small. Yep. We're going to add the remainings of our dry rub. Okay? Yes. So the anchovy salt, the sea salt and the sugar. Right. And it's a really important step to add this in at this point. Mm. By adding that anchovy salt, right. it's going to be quite savoury in so flavour. you've got that... Um, these are like umami spring mm. onions. It's, it's extra flavour than so your normal good. sea salt. That's your favourite word, umami. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got some oil here. Yes. I'm just going to bring it over the heat just to make sure it gets to the smoking point and that's, that's perfect. Yep. Use a nice oil that gets to a high smoking point. Just avoid extra virgin olive oil, okay. really. Yep. And be careful when you're working with hot oil, you've got to get the kids out of the way. Yep. Beautiful. And that's what you want. Lovely. So you pour the oil into the bowl, not the other way around. That's right, because we don't... We want to keep the spring onions still fresh. Just yep. want to get them aromatic. So fish is in the oven, spring onions done. Yep. Let's work on our rice vermicelli noodles. Then we're going to bring it all together, get our herbs out. Yep. And we're going to make the perfect instant rice paper rolls. So good. <laughs> Duncan, fish is out of the oven, perfectly cooked. Yeah. Let's pop it straight on the plate. It's been resting, it's important to rest the fish as well. We'll continue to cook a little bit more. And see the, all those onions down there? Yep. You know, don't leave any passengers behind. <laughs> Very nice. That's good to go. Beautiful. Okay. Now, let's garnish it. Let's get okay. a bit of flavour, more flavour on there. Spring onion oil that we prepared earlier, beautiful. Smell that. And look how it's held its vibrant colour. Yeah, look at that. That is just gorgeous. How's that? Yeah, that's real good. <laughs> uh, texture, let's get some peanuts on there. Okay. Just some toasted peanuts, lovely. Vietnamese people love texture, so this is a, a must for me. Oh, and that's it. Look at that, a beautiful oven-baked fish. 
Oh, we need now some rice paper rolls. All right, what do you reckon? Show us how All right. you wrap it. And Duncan, this is interesting. New rice paper rolls. Yeah. What's they... the difference between these ones and the ones at the supermarket? So these are what, what we call instant rice paper sheets. Right. Um, and because they're really thin, they don't require any dipping in water. Oh, so, so you take that step out. Yeah, that's it. So you can see that you can feel them. They're like. They are much thinner, thin, aren't they? And they're really, really flexible. Yeah. So that just goes straight onto the plate like so. Okay. All right, we're going to pop some lettuce on there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bit of noodles. Ah. And the trick is ah. to only put half what you think you need because we want to make it nice and thin like cigars, okay? Beautiful. <laughs> All right, mint, lovely. And this is where, you know, you get to drive the, the rice paper roll. If you don't like mint, don't put mint. Okay. If you don't like coriander, don't put coriander. Oh, I love it what all. What you wish. So I'm gonna pop a bit of everything. What is right? this? And this is Vietnamese fish herb. This falls into the same category as oysters. Yes. Blue cheese. What? Is either you love it or you hate it. All right, I'm gonna try it. Yeah. It's a few for you. It's we call it Vietnamese fish herb. And in this dish, it's the perfect. It's got it's, like, it's got this weird tang to it. It does. It does wow. not taste like it looks. And it's like, whoa. But once you have it with everything, it's delicious. I love it. Let's mm. get some fish on it. What do you reckon? All right, here's a fork and a knife. Beautiful. Do the honours. I'll get a little bit of fish here, just from the tail. Yeah. Skin separate. and all, no problems. Look at that. Perfectly cooked. Oh, it sure is. Lovely. Yep. Okay. So we get a bit of that onto the skin. And if you didn't want to do a whole fish, you could use um, some fillets, flathead fillets. Absolutely. Barramundi would work a treat. Absolutely. Any white, fleshy yep. fish will work perfectly with this. Mm. Finish off with some cucumber. Yes. Now, this is a trick. Because they're soft and flexible, you can be real aggressive with it. You don't right. really need to be gentle. See how I'm really... You see how it's just starting to rip? Yep. Okay? That's from the moisture from the lettuce, okay? Okay, and that's okay. That's fine, right. okay? So that's pretty much... As is, ready to go. You can hear the crunch. Okay? So you do allow it to soften for a moment or you just go straight into Not it? Not really. Go yeah. straight into it because yeah. what we're going to do, we're going to put this beautiful Vietnamese dipping sauce, the Nook Mum Jam. So if you get that sticky, sweet, sticky sauce that we all love from the Vietnamese restaurants. Fantastic. So what okay. have you done here? To so this is fish fun. sauce, apple cider vinegar, lime, a touch of sugar in cold water. And the agitation of the sugar makes it nice and sticky and viscous. Oh, yeah. Look okay. at that. So do you just make a big, big batch? of yep. this once yep. a week and yep. have it in the fridge? That's right. It's basically sugar, fish sauce and salt. So that keeps well in the fridge. So whenever you feel like rice paper rolls, you just give it a whirl. Fantastic. Okay? You don't mind? I'll have a taste. Please go for it. So dunk it like Duncan does. So that, what that means is <laughs> really give it a swirl. I give it a love... really good dunk. Yep. And then straight in and tell me what you think. Okay. First instant rice paper roll experience. Soft, right? Duncan. Love that. Mm. It's so fresh. The snapper in it is just yeah. the best. And these rice paper rolls, genius. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> They're really good.